When did you live on? What so happened to that house? We bought a house. It was a track. You know, they were building uh -huh. tracks in. So we bought a house. Then they built a track, another track of houses, just about like it, except bigger houses, on South K Street. Okay. Okay, which was like a block this way and a block two blocks that way. I think we bought that house. And we lived there. I don't know, a couple, three years, and then. I don't know why they left there. I mean, I don't know why, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we moved from there to 2nd Street, 2nd and I in San Bernardino. Okay. Okay, he rented a house there. Sold the house and rented a house there. And from there, we went to 2nd and I to where? Massachusetts. Yeah. Maybe Massachusetts was before I Street. Okay. I don't know which one was first. Well, that was near the car shop. What? The Chick Galena's well, automotive. That was the third and G, yeah, but we didn't even know about Galena's oh. car repair at that oh. time. You know, he was still working for Kaiser. Hmm. And then, uh... I'll, only thing I ever remember is him living at 4th and F. 4th and F. I mean, sorry, 14th and F. Yeah. That's uh, the, the only place I remember them living. Massachusetts, actually. Well, 14th and F is still there. That that place is still there. And that's the only place I remember them living, when they lived above the garages. That's the only place I ever know they lived. 14th and F. It was the apartments that oh. went back oh, and okay. lived above the garages. That was, uh, yeah, Mrs. Houghton or whatever yeah. her name was. Yeah, okay. I don't. That's the only place I ever ever remember that moment. They went back for that. So anyway, then he uh, uh, Kaiser. The war was cranking down. Kaiser was going down. So he went to work for Roy Buick. Mm -hmm. You know, and then went to work for this guy and that guy. And they were they were all sending their work carburetor work and that stuff to my dad. He was sharp at that. He sent the work to him. So. So he just opened up his own shop. Then he went to work for Kaiser Frazier, then opened up his own shop. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Hmm. From there it was downhill. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. Yeah. That yeah. guy was a sharp mechanic, but the dumbest goddamn businessman you ever went to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gee, that runs in the family, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, identical, honest to God, identical. Sharp as a tack. He knows what, what he's he does, doing. knows what he's doing. Doesn't know how to ask for 10 cents. Got it on tape. Thanks. Thanks.